Thank you for joining us. This video is going to show how to complete step mapping for 3D models, the 3D canvas in ORCAD, and how to complete collision detection. First, select color on the toolbar and set the desired view. To complete the step mapping, select Setup, Step Mapping from the menu. Under Available Step Packages, select Path. This will give you the path where your step models are stored. To map a step model, select the package and the corresponding step model. If needed, set the X, Y, and Z rotation and the X, Y, and Z offset. Complete this process for all the components. Make sure to select Save after every step mapping. If any PCB footprints have been downloaded from Ultra Librarian or Symaxis using the Unified Search feature in ORCAD Capture, the step mapping may already be complete for these components. To set the rotation and offset, either enter the numbers in the desired location or use the increment button. For collision detection, I'm going to want to see where the USB intersects the enclosure. Select Add Mechanical and map the USB to the USB port. Select Add Mechanical and map the enclosure. Using the 3D canvas in ORCAD, visibility for this and all the components can be turned on or off. Save and close the step mapping window. To view the 3D canvas, select the 3D button from the toolbar. In the Symbols tab, select which models are visible. Click Off of Enclosure. The board and all the components can now be viewed. Turn on the enclosure and select the Collision Detection tab. Select Calculate. The problem components will appear in the window. Select a component from the list. This will highlight the component on the PCB. To locate the component, right-click and select Locate. This will make the component flash for easy detection. Select Setup Preferences. Here you can set your color preferences and make sure the design is set to interactive. To rotate the board in the 3D canvas, hold down the Shift key and middle mouse button. Or you can also choose from preset views under View Camera on the menu. Cross probe between 2D and 3D to resolve the collision. Move the connector X1 to line up with the existing cutout on the enclosure. Just click the part in 2D and the changes will appear automatically in the 3D view. Move JP2 to line up with the existing cutout on the enclosure. Click the part in 2D and the changes will appear automatically in the 3D view. Once the components are in the correct locations, traces can be deleted and rerouted. Checking the display status in the design workflow, all the routes are completed. Since the USB connector was moved, update the step mapping. Select Setup step mapping from the menu. Move the USB until it lines up with the connector and save. In 3D, run the collision detection again. The errors have been resolved and only the collision between the USB and the connector is reported. Select File Export to export a variety of formats including step models or a 3D PDF. This completes the PCB tutorial series. This tutorial was a brief overview of the capabilities in ORCAD. EMA Design Automation offers full training options both online and in a classroom setting. View all of our training options at go.ema-eda.com training.